Assalamu alaikum, hello and welcome dear viewers. The sermon of Lady Zainab rebuking the tyrant Yazid. Once the captives from the survivors of Al Muhammad were taken to Sham, particularly after being imprisoned in the court of Yazid, the family were submitted to numerous attempts at humiliating them and deliberately undermining their authority and playing down the massacre of Karbala. In the court of Yazid, he himself recited the blasphemous poetic verses of Abdullah bin Zabari Sami, which he had composed while he was an unbeliever, and also added some poetic verses of his own, and said openly that he wanted to take revenge upon the descendants of Muhammad because Muhammad and his companions had killed his pagan polytheist and criminal ancestors. Zainab, peace be upon her, stood up and began speaking. It was one of the few times that history would force the women of Al Muhammad to break their silence in front of non-related males. Just like her mother Fatima, peace be upon her, in addressing the tyrants of Saqifa. She began stating, O Yazid, Allah and his Prophet have said that committing sins and considering the signs of Allah to be false is ridiculing them. Deny the sign of Allah today and hold them in derision and have become happy and recite poetic verses on account of the martyrdom of the children of the Holy Prophet, just as the polytheist of Mecca became happy and sang songs because of the martyrdom of some Muslims in the Battle of Uhud, and talk about taking revenge upon the Holy Prophet. This is how you become like them, and how you have reached the stage. You have reached the stage because you have committed too many sins. Whoever treads the path of sin and persists in committing sins, will, according to the verdict of the Holy Qur'an, deny the signs of Allah one day and eventually will ridicule them and then deserve divine punishment. She added, O oh Yazid, do you think that we have become humble and despicable owing to the martyrdom of our people and our own captivity as you have blocked all the path for us? and we have been made captives and are being taken from one place to another? Do you think that Allah has taken away his blessings from us? Do you think that by killing the godly persons you have become great and respectable and the Almighty looks at you with special grace and kindness? For this reason and on account of this incorrect thinking, you have become elated and arrogant. You have become boastful because you have seen the matters have taken a turn in your favor. You have, however, forgotten what Allah says. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. The disbelievers must not think that our respite is for their good. We only give them time to let them increase their sins. For them, there will be a humiliating Torment, Surat al Hamran. Then Lady Zainab reminded Yazid that on the day of the conquest of Mecca, which took place in HAH, the Holy Prophet did favor to all the men and women of Mecca and set them free. Yazid himself was a descendant of those who freed persons, of those freed persons. His father Muawiyah, his grandfather Abu Sufyan, and Muawiyah's mother were among those who were set free at the time of the conquest of Mecca. On that day, the Holy Prophet very magnanimously set all of them free 
irrespective of what they had done in the past and said, go for all of you are free. The second part of her speech, the daughter of Imam Ali made the conquest of Mecca her topic and said, O oh, son of the freed ones, is it the justice that you keep your women and slave girls in seclusion but have made the helpless daughters of the Holy Prophet ride on swift camels and giving them in the hands of their enemies so that they may take them from one city to another? Then she said, why shouldn't Yazid be spiteful against us? It is he who looks at us with hostility. You say with perfect intrepidity and without imagining that you are committing a sin. I wish that my ancestors who were killed in Badr had been present here today. Then you strike Imam Hussein in his teeth with a stick in your hand. Why shouldn't you be like this? Although you have done what you wanted to do and have pulled out the roots of pity and virtue, you have shed the blood of the sons of the Holy Prophet and have hidden the brilliant stars on the earth from amongst the descendants of Abdul Muttalib under the clouds of oppression and injustice. However, you shall go before Allah soon. You shall meet your ancestors and shall also be taken to their place. At that time, you will wish that you had been blind and dumb and had not said it was a day for rejoicing your ancestors. She then prayed to Allah and said, O oh Lord, procure our right and take revenge upon those who have oppressed us. Then she turned to Yazid and said, By Allah, you have pulled off your skin and cut off your flesh. You will soon go before the Prophet of Allah and will see with your own eyes that his children are in paradise. It will be the day when Allah will deliver the descendants of the Holy Prophet from the state of being scattered and will bring all of them together in paradise. This is the promise which Allah has made in the Holy Quran. As he says, do not think of those who are slain for the cause of Allah as dead. They are alive with their Lord and receive sustenance from him. Surat Al-Amran O Yazid, on the day when Allah will, the, will be the judge and Muhammad will be the petitioner and your limbs will be evidence, will give evidence against you, your father, who made you the ruler of the Muslims, will receive his punishment on that day it will become known what reward the oppressors earn, whose position is worse and whose party is more humble. O enemy of Allah and O son of the enemy of Allah, I swear by Allah that I consider you to be humble and not fit even to be reprimanded and reproached. But what am I to do? Our eyes are shedding tears, our hearts are burning and our martyrs cannot come to life by our reprimanding and reproaching you. My Hussein, peace be upon him, has been killed and the partisans of Satan are taking us to the fools so that they may get the reward for insulting Allah. Our blood is dripping from their hands and our flesh is falling down from their mouth. The sacred bodies of the martyrs have been placed at the disposal of the wolves and other carnivores, carnivorous animals as the jungle. If you have gained something today by shedding blood, you will certainly be a loser on the day of judgment. On that day, nothing but your deeds will count. On that day, you will curse Ibn Marjana and he will curse you. On that day, you and your followers will quarrel with one another by the side of the divine scale of justice. On that day, you will see that the best provision which your father made for you was that he enabled you to kill the children of the Prophet of Allah. I swear by Allah that I do not fear anyone except him and do not complain to anyone else. You may employ your deceit and cunning efforts, but I swear by Allah that the shame and disgrace which you have earned by the treatment meted out to us 
cannot be eradicated. She ended her speech with offering thanks to Allah. She said, I thank Allah who has concluded the task of the chiefs of the youth of paradise with prosperity and forgiveness and accommodated them in paradise. I pray to Allah that he may elevate the ranks and favor them more with his kindness for Allah is omnipotent. Thank <laughs> you.